Today I'll talk uh, about the Paris 3, 4 and 5 of the PIQ. This starts with the name that you have to give on the top. Name is in block capitals as given in your certificates. Uh, this also implies that the rest of the PIQ should normally be filled up in running handwriting. Uh, that is the normal way of writing English, but you should make sure that your writing is clear, a little bold, so that it is really readable. Right? Uh, then, of course, they have information in para 4, which is place of maximum residence, your present residence, and your permanent place, uh, along with population and uh, district and all those things. Right? What is the relevance of this uh, information for the IO. Broadly, it gives him an idea of the background that you come from. Uh, you could have been born in a small village, so background is different. You could have been born in a, so you could have been educated in the uh, backward areas. Uh, it would be different in a township or a larger city. It will be different. So that background impacts your uh, upbringing. Also, conversely, see when we say place of maximum residence. Uh, is like like you've been uh, born in a small place, small town, but you have generally studied in a large city. So that gives them an idea of where you spend more time and uh, what could be the impact of that on your upbringing. So this information is basically uh, to maintain objectivity so long as the interview is concerned and nothing more than that. Then we have the information about the family in which uh, it talks of 6A, uh, B and C, which says parents alive, yes or no, if not the age of the candidate at the time, the death of the parent, father or mother, whatever it is, and then uh, details of the family are there. Now this information again, of course, uh, whenever an IO notices that a candidate has lost a parent, uh, he generally would go into some details in trying to understand as to what happened, what the circumstances, and then beyond that, how has the family moved forward? What kind of responsibilities is the candidate taken? Those will be normal things, fine. Right? And in, while discussing that, sometimes the candidates do feel a motive. The IO would generally calm him down at the stage. See, but but see, uh, it is necessary to discuss that. Because while we're discussing that, some other indicators also emerge. Uh, other than the, obviously, you would have taken some responsibilities, you have altered the lifestyle, all this would be normal. But sometimes when the candidate speak, it's not what you speak, it's how you speak is important. And when uh, the candidate finds that IO is empathetic to his conditions at home, he starts to feel that this empathy this sympathy may draw him some benefit. So the tone of uh, speaking, the way of speaking does take a little different turn. So that is something which needs to be avoided. And the moment an IO feels that you try to draw some advantage of the sympathy by creating the sympathy, that would indicate a kind of a uh, character who's slightly weak in nature, who's looking for support. That is not a very great thing. Right? See, the challenges come to everybody, difficulties come to everybody, but a person who is of the, the, the true grit will stand up to the challenge and move forward rather than looking at somebody to help him out. So that is the larger thing. So it is not what you speak, it's how you speak is also important at that stage. Next, coming to the details of the family. Right? Normally, uh, it says father, mother, guardian, elder brothers and sisters, Younger brothers and sisters, right? That large information where they are asking for what is their education, what is the occupation, and what uh, is the kind of income that they draw. What is the purpose of this? You know, one is it just gives the general idea of the socioeconomic background of the family. 
in the social talk background to the family would further indicate the kind of resources that they had where the parents are educated the income is good obviously you go to better school better school have better facilities and better opportunities to grow as compared to a candidate whose family is not too privileged he'll go to not very school not very college where yes exams will be there he'll pass the um, you know examinations he get the certificates of plus 2 and graduation but other activities may not be there in that major their resources may not be there the the, the sports activities may not be there you know because uh, financially uh, it is a very low budget school or college fine so the food facilities may not be commensurate the teachers may not be very well paid so the environment obviously is different and uh, that would impact how a person grows up how a person uh, comes out one person from a better school will appear to be better uh, able to talk a little appears more confident fine and, and uh, can better dress so it gives a kind of psychological disadvantage to other but that is not really the case see what 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 is it uh, the i was looking at from this information is what are the background what kind of resources that you had and what have you done out of that that essentially comes from the motivation that a candidate has uh, the motivation is a very big uh, kind of a booster in the growth of personality right people who are motivated they would anyway do well wherever they are and people not too motivated even if they are in the best of environments they may not do very well yet they may appear to be carrying themselves well well dressed can talk well right but beyond that there's nothing right so uh, this should not kind of a put off uh, a, a person to a disadvantage because he's not come from a stress background it's not necessarily true uh, there are enough examples where people from very ordinary backgrounds have to make it. Uh, it, it it is the people who motivated they like bubbles of water they'll always rise up whatever the environment just keep that in mind so they should not really put a pressure on the mind just because i'm a small school parents are not turning to well uh, i will be seen different no he is very well familiarizing himself with the kind of background that you have but he is looking at what have you done in that your motivation is the key to that right 